Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm gonna share with you how to do this pointer title in DaVinci Resolve. Let's check it out. All right, so in DaVinci Resolve right now, we're on the Fusion page. And first off, I would like to say that if you want to use this title right here in the Edit page, you can uh, do that very easily by clicking the link in the description below. And you can have uh, this title that we're gonna do in a minute uh, in a free download that you can install then in DaVinci and use from the Edit page. So without further ado, let's jump right into it and make this pointer. So here I'm gonna start by clicking on the background to bring a background in my working area. And then uh, with the background selected, I'm then gonna click on the rectangle mask uh, to create a rectangular shape. So then we're just gonna bring those elements here in our viewer. And in the inspector here, I'm gonna click on invert. And it's basically gonna be the base for all pointers. Now, if we adjust the width or the height, as you can see, uh, we have this entire area cover and uh, this area we can see through to just direct the focus of our viewer on what matter in the tutorial. Right now, I'm just gonna double click on them to reset them. And now we need to create the border of this frame. So for that, I'm gonna bring uh, in the timeline a new background. So I'm just gonna drop a new background in the working area. And then I'm just gonna add a rectangular mask again to this one. So then I'm just gonna link the background two to the background one uh, with a merge. And now let's just click on merge so we can see everything on all viewer. And here, first off, I'm gonna change the color of the background to white so we can make the difference uh, between the two rectangles that we've created. Now in rectangle two, here we're gonna untick solid. And what it's gonna do here once we're gonna adjust the border width, it's gonna create a border. So right now we have pretty much our title. If we were to adjust, for example, here in rectangle one, uh, the level of opacity uh, here with the black, as you can see, we basically got the title finished, but we still need to do a couple of things to make sure that it's easy to adjust that title. Cause for example, here, if I were to adjust the width, as you can see, the border are not uh, moving along uh, with the background. So for that, we're gonna need to link some rectangle one parameter to rectangle two parameter with expression. So when the parameter are adjusted, they stay the same on both of those masks. So right now I'm just gonna double click on width to reset uh, the parameter. So here I'm gonna click on rectangle one. I'm gonna pin it so it stay in my inspector. I'm gonna extend my inspector right here. And then I'm gonna select rectangle two right there. So then we're gonna link everything in rectangle two to rectangle one with expression. So here I'm gonna right click on center. I'm gonna select expression. I'm gonna right click on width. I'm gonna select expression. Right click on height, select expression. Corner radius, same thing expression and angle, same thing, expression. Perfect. Now we're just gonna link all those parameter to rectangle one. So I'm gonna link the center to the other center, the width to the other width, the height to the other height, and so on and so forth. You get uh, the thing now, corner radius and here angle. And what it does essentially is that now, if we were to adjust the position of our pointer, everything will move together. Uh, same here with the width. If we were to adjust the width, the border is moving along with the background. So now that we have the pointers, we're just gonna make a simple animation. Uh, to do that, I'm gonna animate the opacity of the background and I'm gonna uh, animate the border itself. So let's start with the background. To animate the opacity of the background, I will need to bring a new node in uh, because I could technically uh, do it here on the level and add some uh, keyframe on this level, but then I will not be able to modify easily the opacity ever again. I will be uh, kind of stuck with that opacity. So we're gonna need to do it on another node. So we're gonna select background one, and then in my keyboard, I'm gonna hit shift space to bring uh, here the select tool, and we're gonna search for brightness. And with the brightness contrast node, I'm gonna create basically an opacity animation. To do that, I need to select a for the alpha channel right here. And then as you can see, the gain does the exact same thing as the level is adjusting the opacity uh, of all background. So here I'm gonna make my animation, for example, uh, 20 uh, frames. So I'm gonna select a 20 frame. I'm gonna drop 
a keyframe here on the gain at one, and then we're just gonna go to frame zero and gonna bring down the gain to zero. And here, if we play it, as you can see, we have a simple uh, opacity animation. So now we need to animate the border of the rectangle. So we're gonna select rectangle two, and here we're gonna put some keyframe on the length. As you can see, it's just adjusting the length of the line, and we're gonna keyframe that right here. So I'm gonna do the same for now uh, as the first animation. We're gonna make it a 20 frame. So I'm gonna drop a keyframe here uh, on the lens at one on the 20th frame, and then we're gonna go to zero, and I'm gonna bring down the length to zero. And now let's play it. As you can see, we have now our animation. We could then just go to the spline editor, and we're gonna make some adjustment to make it maybe smoother. So let's just select all the node with some animation on it. Then we can just click right here on zoom to fit so we can see all, all points. And then we're just gonna select everything. We're gonna hit the letter S on the keyboard to smooth out the animation. Right now I'm happy with the timing of the animation, but if you uh, want to adjust the timing of the animation, you could do that right here uh, in the spline. So for example, I want to adjust here uh, the timing of the opacity. I want to make it quicker so I can just select the last point right here. On my keyboard, hold shift, and then I just can move that around and bring it, for example, uh, at, you know, 14 frame. And here we'll have uh, an opacity animation that is a tiny bit uh, quicker. One last touch is uh, I usually really like to have a rounded corner and not square corner. It usually look better and modern in my opinion. So here the corner radius, I'm gonna just raise it a little bit and uh, we're gonna get some cleaner edges. And that's pretty much it. You have your pointer. Now you can easily uh, move it around. You can easily adjust all the parameter here in uh, rectangle one. You can export it as a macro if you want. But if you don't want to bother, you can download this exact title by clicking the link in the description below and you will get this title that can be used in the edit page. This is a title from our tutorial toolkit pack available on our website that contains a bunch of different assets for tutorial videos, including pointers, callout, guide cards, and much more. You can learn more about it on our website at videotutorstudio.com. Thank you very much for watching and have a nice day. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.